I've created my own version of ChatGPT to be used right on my terminal, and you can do it too. It's a project called Terminal GPG, and I've been using, I've been creating this since the beginning of January, and you can download right now on the link on the description. And to see what I've been done so far, I have a previous video, you can check it out, and uh, don't forget to click a like and subscribe as well, if you want to keep seeing this series going, uh, going forward. Today, what, I've been, what I want to do is work a little bit more on the fine tuning, because if you see the previous video, I have a problem with the fine tuning of my, of my project. So let's go back here to my screen and I'm going to show you here how it's been going. To begin with, I create an option now that you can insert when you're running the terminal GPT, where you wanted to opt in to fine tune your model, to fine tune your conversation. So what fine tuning that actually is? Let's go back here a little bit more. Fine tuning is basically, you're gonna take a OpenAI model, you're gonna uh, train it against the data you uploaded on OpenAI, and then this model is gonna be uh, directed to answer more likely the sequential questions based on the file that you uploaded to OpenAI. So that's what I'm doing because that is a problem when we're using our context. I go back here and explain why. So here on our project, I create this little variable here called context here. And this context is going to be adding all, all the chat to be doing with the OpenAI. So for example, you add the context as a user, as your prompt, and then when you're going to answer, you, you put here GPT-3. So this question and answer is going to be filling out on your variable, but the create completion has a limit of tokens you can insert on that prompt. Uh, if you insert more than 2048 tokens, your your create completion, your OpenAI request is going to fail. And this is a problem because then you, you can't have a huge computation using this type of context to OpenAI. That's why I wanted to create, I start to create now a fine tuned version of the of this chat where when you opt in, we're going to be appended to a file the conversation we're having so this is like the prompt we'll be adding and the, the answer we'll be getting and then we can use this file to upload to OpenAI and then after we upload this file we can create a fine-tuned model so we can go into this function here you can create we can get a new create a new fine-tune using the file ID of the file we upload to OpenAI so that's pretty much what I've been trying to do. So last time we failed to actually create this fine tune model. Let's see if I can do that. If I can do that, it's going to be nice. And uh, let's see. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Hey guys, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news uh, is I figured out what I was doing wrong with the fine tune, but the bad news I can use quite yet because there is a lot of writing processing now on my account. So let's go back to the code here. I'm gonna explain what we're doing now. When we do the completion here, we have now the options to fine tuning, and then we have the option to the limit. So the limit here we can we can define when we pass in the option so for example here on on this fine tune here i do a limit of one so on the first conversation now we're gonna we're gonna go to upload the file and fine tuning because i done a lot of conversation already i wanted to upload this file so now when i upload in the file i'm adding a retrieve file so this retrieve file now is gonna check if the if the file is processed and if it's processed we can now continue to the fine tuning. I don't want to fine tune any model without the, the file being processed first. 
the OpenAI is going to check this for us and then when OpenAI say it's processed, we can use this file now, then we can use on our fine tune. So on fine tune now, we have as well the process of add the file D here with the training file. Okay, then we, we do the create fine tune. And after that, we're going to be checking as well if the, if the fine tune is being processed. One of the things that I figure out here is, let's show you now. When you create a fine tune, you create a fine tune like it, it returns, OpenAI returns something like this was. So one of the things I was using and was wrong was the idea of the fine tune, which is not correct to use as the model for the create competition. The right variable is the fine tune model. And you can see here is no. The problem is the status of my fine tune here is pending. And while it's pending, I'm not gonna have a fine tune model here so i'm not going to be able to use the fine tune that i created on my competition again so now i added i added this change now and now we save the fine tune model on the set fine tune model so now when we create the competition we're going to get the right name on our model and we're going to be able to use the fine tune there one of the problems is i have everything processed now I have one that is actually not processed, uh, succeeded, I think. Yes, it succeeded. So I have a little change to do as well on fine tune here because it's not processed. It is uh, is it by tune. See, it's different from succeeded. So when it succeeded, now we can get this uh, fine tune model there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so when it succeeded, we get the fine tune now. And uh, we can try it out now and see what's going to happen. But for me, I believe that probably we're not going to be able to um, to get to use our fine tune yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, write hello world in Python. And let's see what's going to happen. It's going to start to think, uploading the file. And then we're going to have a wait. <laughs> You're going to have to wait. <laughs> okay so Python is wrong okay code 400 something went wrong it's still trying to fine tuning so i can i can check it out here again yeah so the problem is i have a lot of fine tuning fine tuning here right now they are they are kind of pending and uh we still have a lot of stuff a lot of like fine tuning here so i can try to get this guy here to use on my model so what i'm gonna do here is uh I get this guy, right? And uh, I can come back here. I can go to the fine tune model here. I can add this as a name to the fine tune model. So let's do it like this. And then we can recreate the yeah, dev. Let's see. Right. Hello world in Python. Let's see what's going to happen okay interesting <laughs> interesting enough our own uh pre-training model gets something wrong i don't know what it is i have to check it out now but that's uh that's actually pretty much it for this part of the of the fine tune model i'm gonna i'm gonna add this on the github i'm gonna ask for the community to help me on that but the next phase now is to get when the when gpt3 returns us a code is returning as a block of code right now and what we can do is to create actually a interface on my, my terminal on our terminal where we can copy that code without being needed to select through the terminal and and paste this on your own code that's it for today thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a like subscribe uh, share with, her, with your friends leave leave a comment down below if you found out what is wrong with this uh, with this fine tuning model and uh if you if you wanted to contribute as well for this project i have i leave the link down below and uh, you can go there and check it out all right okay and uh i see you on the next one